Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you all some of the stuff, some of the products I use on my hair. So I'm going to start with these um, Garnier Shrewd Tease products um, and show you the ones that I like and that I usually buy over and then some of the items that I don't like. Um, I'm going to start with this. This is a conditioner, a triple um, nutrition three minute undo dry reversal treatment. It's pretty good. I like it. Um, I would buy this, but not um, as frequently as I would buy some of the other products. I do like Garnier products. They do um, work really well on my hair. They have um, they have they they're very um, saturating. They um, moisturize my hair pretty good. Um, the, uh, as far as the um, the conditioners and the shampoo, they work really well on my hair. So. This I bought. This is an um, uh, a triple nutrition spray. This this um, yeah, and I used this all the way up. I kind of I liked it. It was okay. Um, I think I bought this about twice, and um, I I might buy this again. I like it to a certain extent. I mean, I didn't get the um the um, moisture at like I wanted from this but it was okay I really like this and I guess these I bought these two together because they both had the same you know uh, they both were the same um, thing um, basically the triple nutrition so I bought those to get together um, I like these these are curl sculpting uh, or curl shaping gels. This one is a spray gel and this one is a gel cream. I love this. I love this a lot. I like this a lot too. I do twist outs with these. They work really well and they moisturize my hair. Leave them really um leave my hair really soft. So I like those a lot. Um as for this I thought this would um I bought it. It said um it says heat protection and I bought it for heat protection but it does not work well for my hair because it contains a lot of alcohol and it dries my hair out really bad so I won't buy that again okay um, <clears throat> um let's see I use the cholesterol from Queen Helen the hot oil treatment, I like that really good. It um, really well. It's um, it's not as uh, expensive as a lot of um, hot oil treatments. I like it um, because it has the measuring devices on the side. It tells you how much to use. I added this to the top cap. Maybe if they were to see this video, maybe they could um, incorporate this um, as. Um, incorporate this in their design bottle design that would be a lot helpful um I use this as well I love this it's um I use it when I want to um do um probably a baggy treatment or a co-wash deep conditioning whatever I love it and it's a lot so um it's a lot in the bottle so that's a plus for me I just bought this it's um it's a cholesterol plus it's um basically what this is but it's a different brand and a different color and they'll probably be more or less of the same ingredients I'm not sure this is just different brand I bought it um at a cheaper price than this so I'll be using this for um once I run out of this <coughs> <clears throat> now this is something new I haven't tried it yet so I can't tell you how I feel about it but um dark and lovely finally um came up with something um to uphold their name for natural women all natural all natural world anti shrinkage all natural anti shrinkage and this is not out conditioner and this is hydrating soap shampoo and it smells really good. I don't know how it works out. I'm going to try it out and 
whenever I do another video like this I'll let you guys know or oh, you'll see it in my um, inventory if I use it if I continue to use it if I like it or not um, along with that I got where is it this this is a hair butter um, it's supposed to be really softening I'm not sure because I'm looking at the consistency and I'm also looking at the um, ingredients and it's kind of watery so what I look for just to let you guys know what what we um um what I look for being natural in the hair butter is something that's going to saturate my hair and make it really um and it's going to keep it really um moisturized I need all I need the ingredients to be mostly oils not water or anything else mostly oils if I can rub this in and my fingers don't shine or my hand doesn't shine and it doesn't last too long then it really doesn't um I already know it's not gonna do well for my hair but um I'll try it but that's alright um because I have something for that to keep my hair moisturized I have um I bought this but um this is not what I was talking about but I have something for my hair to keep it moisturized this is um uh, Jamaican mango Jamaican mango and lime um pure Jamaican black castor oil original and it basically is oil it's supposed to help um, strengthen the hair, replenish, rejuvenate, nourishing, nourishes, and natural ingredients. So, it's just the oil. And I, it was, um, I paid a pretty penny for it, but I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to give it a try. Something to, um, moisturize my hair. Okay, so along with that, I have this. I'm, um, I'm into the Dr. Miracle products and what I like about the Dr. Miracle products is it does give you that tingling um, that tingling sensation and which basically helps my um get the um get the blood stimulated in your head and get everything you know get the blood moving so I like that effect so when I saw this and I and I I don't know because they say you can't tell by smell how it would treat your hair but it smells like the bomb you know almost like a balmy smell almost like um the Dr. Miracle used to smell because they changed it and not everybody likes that smell but it smells like that and it um and it says hair grow hair grow wild and it's supposed to Strengthen the root, penetrate the follicles, increase blood flow. And I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to um probably do a review on certain products and let you guys know how I like it. And some some of the ingredients on the back of it I weren't so um I wasn't so excited about, but you know, I try to try new products and see what I like. But just the ingredients I don't like. I like ingredients that are all natural mostly something that um I like stuff that sat saturates my hair keeps the um moisture in it and um this is basically I'm just the regular grease to me but I'm gonna try it so okay put this to the side I have this <coughs> Home moisturizer. I like it. It's it keeps your hair shiny. I'm s I suppose they have a lot of um. I suppose they have some um. Probably petroleum. They probably have the um. Um, certain things that make your hair shine. Silicone. I don't know. But I don't know. I just like that from the pink oil moisturizer makes my hair shiny and it gives it 
that moisturized feeling so I like that okay so now I have this this is from Dr. Miracle it's a shampoo and it's for um it's a two-in-one just shampoo and conditioner it's for and it has peppermint oil olive river and it's basically to treat and help fight off dandruff. I bought this for my daughter. She has really bad dandruff. So, I have that. And I like the tingling feeling as well. I have this. This is another hair lotion. It's almost like pink oil moisturizer. So, for a Medicaid. I just like the, the tingling feeling. I don't know why. I just feel like the tingling just gets the blood flowing. So, I don't know. Maybe I, I, I need to sit down and research. I don't have time to do computer work because the computer, there's an issue with that. But, anyhow. Yep, I like that. But I will research it and let you guys know what I do find out about the tingling sensation in those products. Um, and what I find out about this one because I'm not advertising because it costs a pretty penny and I want to I'm gonna try it out I mean it may be just as as um basic as just regular dollar hair grease like this and I use this in my hair I just you know at first I had gave up a lot of um mineral oil I mean mineral based products and petroleum based based products but I realized my hair just needed something to kind of keep it moisture, lock in that moisture. I mean, I don't know what, I mean, that's why it's a hair journey. The different things work for different people and the grease and the mineral oil, it works for my hair. That's why I got this because I needed something thick to kind of um sculpt my curls to sculpt my um coils rather to sculpt them this holds them i could take this and um you know put it on my scalp put it on my hair and just sculpt my hair how i want it to be and this will keep my hair from knotting up because once you put it once i put it on my hair it just stops um all it does is it is it keeps my hair it, it sculpts it into one solid curl and it keeps it from moving let me see if I can show you all what I'm talking about okay I'm gonna put some on my hair and see if I can show y'all what I'm talking about See, once I put that, put it on my hair, all it does is it keeps it in one position. It keeps that curl from moving. It keeps the curls. It sculpts the curls. So I like that about that. Okay, now I use this biotin. I take these. These are for your hair and nails and skin. And I take those. I haven't been taking them lately, but I'm going to start. As you can see, it's a nice bit in there. But these are good. I used to use the Biotin Shampoo and Conditioner. I like it. It works pretty well. But it's pretty expensive, so. I use this right here. This is from Crema Nature. And instead of using um, this, use this for heat protection either I use this or the Fantasia serum oil stuff and that's um, pretty expensive too so I usually use this and it's not that much it's not as much as the Fantasia but what's a couple of bucks more for the good stuff I don't know now I use this 
I use the oil. Um, I use this um oil for hot oil treatments. I use the um oil on my scalp, but I haven't bought any lately because I've been um I have kind of switched from using just the oils to um using the grease. But I'm back on the oils. I'm using this. And it's a bit, it's, it's very thick, so. Um, next. Um, well, last but not least. This is hair mayonnaise. I like this a lot. Um, it, it, it leaves my hair feeling really, um, nice and saturated. And, I um, this, it costs, um, a decent amount, three dollars. Well, that's what it costs here, at least. Um, and it's almost a bit um like this. I say the texture is not really. This is more of a mayonnaise than a butter, or it's not a butter to me. So I feel like this um this is more of a hair cream or a hair mayonnaise. It's not a butter not so I don't believe that so basically that's it for all my hair care products and I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think about um, the products that you've seen in this video if you use any of them what do you think about them and um, subscribe rate comment share be blessed God loves you and so do I